Hey there, Chicago Bears fans. As your amazing host here, it is the Reister. Now, once again, like I said last week, this will be a special Chicago Bears video. So hopefully you guys and gals enjoy this video. But before that, I want you guys and gals to sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab some meat, or grab something to drink, or maybe, just maybe, you want to chill like a villain and hear my thoughts, my opinions, on this lovely subject. And of course, the link will be down below, or the article will be down below. This video, once again, there will be a link. And don't worry, I'll discuss my social media accounts after this part of the video is over. Let's get into this. Now, everyone is aware, if you're a Chicago Bears fan, or NFL for for overall, sorry, I got a little tongue-tied, that the NFL draft is coming very, very soon. Actually, it's next month, the end of the month, in April. So, Bears better make some great decisions wisely. Everyone is aware that they made a blockbuster trade with the Carolina Panthers to give up the overall pick because they have the worst record. So, they now the Panthers... Need to make a good choice. If they screw up, they screw up. We don't have to worry about them. We just have to worry about the Chicago Bears. What do they have to do? They better make the wise decision, Bears fans. Because you know, and I know, they've been crappy for a long time. Especially this past season. The only good part was Justin Fields. I discussed that last week like a broken record. I do apologize. He better stay healthy. I know he's not the answer, but... If he get better this offseason, maybe he will improve his passing game. If not, Bears will be doomed again. I'm sorry for saying that. They should just got rid of him this offseason. There's still a chance, right? During the draft, they should, in my opinion. They won't get rid of him because they, they made some big... Tr okay, here it is. Here's the title. What do you guys think about this? About the NFL draft? For the Bears, there's a GM of the Bears. I think he's doing a good job so far, but let's see what they do on the field. Okay, just because they make some blockbuster moves all of a season, that doesn't mean it's going to work out on the field. It could be a total bust. If it's a total bust, everybody, the media, the paper are ripping to the Chicago, even the media. And that'd be a bad thing, not a good thing, you know? We need, the Chicago Bears need to turn this franchise around. They need to dominate the Packers. They need to dominate everybody in their flipping path. Not just win every game, just make it a watchable, you know, fun to watch, you know. And I know a lot of Bear fans are tired of this team. Frankly, I don't know if you guys agree, I think the McCassies need to sell the franchise because if they don't sell, McCassies are just stuck in the 80s. The reason I'm saying that because they want to keep running the game. Run the ball, run the ball. No NFL team runs the ball. All the NFL teams pass it except the Bears. They don't have the best receivers until now. Okay? I don't know, just mind-boggling. Mind-boggling what the Bears do. And this is the oldest NFL franchise. I think it is. Between the Bears and Packers. The oldest. The biggest rivalry. And of course, over the years, the Packers have been dominating. Yes, I know the Packers own the Bears. But one last time, the Packers won the Super Bowl. 2010. It feel like decades ago, but Bears are over, way overdue. The last time they won it was 86. I was a little dude. A little rah -rah, you know? So, hopefully they could turn us around. I know every NFL team goes through a lot of hiccups. But for the Bears, you think this is the year and then by the time the season um, plays out, it's another disappointing year. Bad decisions, bad coaching, bad moves the offseason, bad um, draft picks. They make some bad moves, but you don't know that until they play on the field, you know? So let's see what's going to happen. I want the Bears to go from worst to to first and maybe, maybe make the playoffs. Last time make the playoffs, fun fact, was 2010. And that had been so long ago. And that's the year the Packers won the Super Bowl. Shocker, isn't it? Wow. So, all right, we still don't know what's going on with Aaron Rodgers. 
if he's going to leave or not leave. I guess probably it's going to be official around the NFL draft. Boot him out there. Send him to the New York Jets. Maybe we'll have more better competition in that division than he did it with the Bears division. Because off the record, bonus, he has been dominating this division many, many years. Detroit, Minnesota, and of course the Bears. So if he goes in that division, maybe we'll have better competition with the Jets. Of course, because he's going to play for them. Buffalo, Miami, and um, what else? The Dolphins. The Dolphins are getting better, okay? Back in the day, a fun fact, when Tom Brady used to play for the Patriots, they used to dominate the division. I know by week one, they're going to win, win the division, the Patriots, and I was right. Not by week one, but week after week, I knew it because Belichick and Tom Brady has some great chemistry. Now, Belichick can't do nothing without Tom Brady. Shocker. Maybe Belichick should just hang up his, hang it up, but he won't. He's going to do it until the day he passes away. Sorry for saying that. Anyway, so what's your thoughts, Bears? Do you think Bears are going to make more trades by the time the NFL draft rolls around or not? Not with, like they did not too long ago. I'm just wondering. They better turn this team around. Hopefully. Just have patience. They always say like they do for the Philadelphia 76ers. Trust the process. Have a go in that. Follow me on Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, TikTok. All my social media accounts will be down below. If you want to be part of the Robert Show, that's fine. At the end. If not, don't worry about it. Always go Bears. See you guys next time. Later.